Alrighty folks, happy blockchain gaming Halloween! There is like less than 24 hours left of the official alpha playtest, the most recent one from the sandbox. So I thought I'd just hop in here, we talk a little bit about blockchain gaming, a little bit about sandbox versus gala games, as well as some other little bits and pieces. Just my honest opinion. Folks, if you are new to the channel, then welcome. I appreciate you being here. One thing you need to understand is that on this channel, you're going to hear straight from the bottom of my heart which games I am most passionate about. And I will always disclose my bias towards you at the beginning of every single video, whether unsponsored, partnered, or anything like that. For this particular game, guys, I do own Sand Token that I'm staking for around 11% through my MetaMask wallet on the Polygon network on the Sandbox ecosystem, guys. I reckon it's a no-brainer if you are... I suppose, into blockchain gaming, I do think, you know, whilst these videos are not financial advice, I'm not a financial advisor, Sandbox, guys, number one in terms of market cap, all right, within blockchain games, okay, the blockchain gaming tokens, I should say, so I am invested in it, and I'm happy to talk about that on this channel, I've probably got around 7,000 USD worth of sand at the moment, hoping for a 10x, but you never know, um... And then in terms of Gala games, guys, as you know, you probably have seen a lot of my Gala content if you are returning. And yeah, it makes up around 12% of my overall portfolio. I have Gala games NFTs. I do have quite a few. I'm not partnered or sponsored by Gala or Sandbox, guys. These are just two projects that I do highly believe in. So, you know, in terms of the title of this video, a bit of Sandbox gameplay and talking a little bit about Sand versus Gala. What are my thoughts, guys? I'm literally just going to jump straight into it and tell you right now. The answer is pretty simple in that I don't believe Gala Games and Sandbox are really in competition with each other. I just don't. I do think they serve different purposes within blockchain gaming, and I think if blockchain gaming does survive, two of these project pioneers in the space could theoretically win and coexist together. What you need to understand is, Gala Games is an ecosystem that encourages game developers from traditional gaming and blockchain gaming to come and create awesome AAA standard high quality games. In my personal opinion, the games on Gala Games are some of those games I'm looking forward to more than any other games within the blockchain gaming ecosystem because let's face it, there just is a lot of trash when it comes to projects in blockchain gaming, a lot of scams, and if it's not a scam, it's probably a rubbish project. So. It's really hard to navigate and blockchain gaming gets a bad rap within crypto when you know crypto already gets a really bad rap through mainstream media th things like that so can you imagine what people think about blockchain gaming and at the moment for the most part generally speaking traditional gamers don't like blockchain gaming i think for the most part they don't understand the value proposition and the problem that play to earn does solve i don't like pay to win i'm not a fan of it but if there's a way to, you know, push forward a good play to earn economy, making it fair for players to play for free while still giving, I suppose, some perks to people that do want to pay a bit more for NFTs, easier said than done, guys. You know, we are the pioneers in this space, but, you know, that's essentially where it's at. So that's why I gladly hold Gala and Sand. You know, Gala ranked at number six overall market cap, Sand ranked at number one. And then there's a few other projects as well that I do like, Illuvium, you know, got a lot to prove. But again, the quality of that game just, I mean, how good does Illuvium look? It looks really good, you know. And in terms of Sandbox right now, what I'm playing, guys, it's nothing special. You know, this caliber of game, if we're talking about the gameplay specifically, was probably available in the early 90s or in gaming sort of, I guess, first arose onto the scene. And if you're new here, folks, and you're not subscribed and you haven't done it already, smash the like and subscribe because you can rest assured that I'm a passionate gamer at heart and I'm extremely and have been extremely passionate about cryptocurrency from 2017 when I discovered it. Made money off Bitcoin and, you know, started off making a lot of content about Crypto.com. Still love Crypto.com, still bullish for those of you watching about Crypto.com. But, you know, my main newfound passion is blockchain gaming. So let's... um. Focus now, guys, on a little bit of what's going on within the uh, sandbox right now. So, again, you know, sandbox, I'm pretty bullish on. You know, we've got names like Steve Aoki, Dead Mouse, um, Snoop Dogg from the gaming industry in particular that are interested. Uh, look at that. 
that the uh, Steve Aoki Goblin Town NFT, I do think. Let's have a look. In order to efficiently have success in the cryptocurrency space, it is super important to stay up to date and inform the latest news articles and information. When it does come down to talking about the Kronos blockchain, there is only one news source that I personally trust. That is the Chronicle. The Chronicle is the number one official news source for anything to do with Kronos, whether it be projects, NFTs, DeFi or passive income. The Chronicle are also even officially backed by Kronos blockchain themselves and even Chris Marzalek from Crypto.com, the CEO, is following them too. To put it bluntly, if it wasn't for the Chronicle, I wouldn't have been able to make one of my most successful NFT purchases in this Frankenstein Mad Meerkat right here, which I personally think is going to be the board apes of the Kronos chain, and I wouldn't be able to actually get up to around 300%, yes, you heard it right, APR on one of the best yield farms in MMF Finance on the Kronos blockchain. For those of you that have been living under a rock all this time, you don't know about what Kronos blockchain is, well, you better start to get to know. It's actually Crypto.com's official blockchain, and it's absolutely smashing it. Personally, I think it's one of the most undervalued, if not the most undervalued blockchains out there right now. When you visit thechronicle.com, you can expect AMAs, news, NFT drops, stuff related to DeFi, and all things crypto on the Kronos chain. You'll see that they actually have the ability to actually comment and vote on great pieces of news, information, and articles. They've also recently launched a new project called Project Crow Laboration, meaning that crypto-focused authors are able to come on and create their own news pieces for the website. The Chronicle does truly understand that bringing awareness to certain projects in their early development actually can be quite challenging. So that's why you can actually come on to the Chronicle and find all of these new and upcoming projects in one place. There's really no strings attached with this one, guys. It's just a genuine great news source that I do want to promote to you as my audience. And it'd be crazy not to go ahead and give them a follow. All the official links for the Twitter, where you can actually go and give them a follow, turn the notification bells on, head on over to their website, do subscribe so you can stay in tune with the latest articles. All those links will be in the description of this video right at the top. Also, don't be afraid to leave your likes and comments and make sure you do comment in this video if you have any questions about Crow, Crypto.com or Kronos. Yes, as you can see, King of the Goblins. <laughs> you can view that one in the marketplace. Pretty cool. Alright. Uh, so, again guys, this is meant to be a Halloween special. Um, so, yeah, it looks alright guys. But essentially all of these sort of playable alphas at the moment for Sandbox. You just run around, collect things, and you can go into the draw to actually win Sand Token. I would say, like, you need to commit a fair bit of time to give yourself a chance of winning Sand. Like, it's not easy just to go in here and win money, essentially. It's really not. But if you've got patience, if you like this kind of style of game, and you got no job, and you're, I don't know, either unemployed, or maybe you've already made it with Bitcoin or, or something like that, then... By all means, folks, come in, support the community, uh, and give this a play. I'll, I'll leave a link for the sandbox here if you do want to come in and check it out. But we're going to try and complete one of these tasks, the parkour tasks, within this. We're not going to do it all because I just don't want to. I can't be bothered. I don't enjoy it that much. And, uh, you know, I, I like coming into the sandbox just for a little bit. But I'm going to be honest with you guys. You know, this is, um, for me, I don't love it. You know, it's okay. You know, if there's earning, if there's some decent earning potential when... The full version of Sandbox Minigames comes out, then I'll definitely get involved. Oh, and I also do own two Landbox land, uh, sorry, Sandbox land plots, which I'm pretty happy about. I got them pretty cheap, I think at around 0.2 Ethereum each, so they've done, you know, they've done close to a 10x when the market was hot, a little bit less than that now. But anyway guys, enough bollocks from me, let's try and see if we can uh, go top plateau, new objective unlocked. So this is a bit of parkour, hey, get out of my way. So. Yeah, I'm rubbish at this, guys, but I don't give up. Alright, so we essentially got to go up. Oh, bollocks. Okay, I'm so bad at this. I can't talk at the same time. Ah! And if you've been watching the channel for a while and you like live streams, guys, I'm going to be bringing back a weekly live stream. I just had a baby girl, so... Ah! Oh, as good as that is, it doesn't allow me a lot of time for live streaming because live streaming does take up um, ah, oh, a lot of time 
you know, if I do a stream, I'm looking at minimum, looking at minimum four hours, or if I just do like a regular video like this, you know, I might be able to get it done in one to two hours. Yes! Depending on what it is. Sorry for being so slow at this, anyway. Um, so yeah, obviously, oh, yes, got over there. Yeah, obviously, you know, I can't do as many streams as what I'd like, but I'm gradually getting back into it, guys, because I just, you know, when games like Ember Sword come out, Miranda, Superior, I'm talking about the full versions, um, Undead Blocks maybe as well. Alright. Ah! Oh! Hold on, wait. Ah! Oh! Yeah! Oh my god, I'm looking to cover these games in full detail, and essentially just discovering, you know, which games are not only fun, but, you know, have got ah! a good earning potential as well. Ah! Oh my god, this is so intense. Bah! Okay, gotta go over here now. Bah! 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 Oh my god, I fell down. I fell down. <sighs> I mean, have a look at this. You've even got a Gucci vault in here, guys. You can get Gucci in the sandbox. I mean, what's this about? In Vault, nothing is quite as it seems. Are you ready to unlock its many treasures? I'm actually not. I couldn't care less for Gucci, so... I'll be back later, thanks, mate. Alright, guys. Um, take two. Take two. Oh, my heart is racing. Oh! Oh my god! Oh. Ah! Oh shit, shit, shit! Oh my goodness, I just freaking almost fell off the edge. Ah! Uh, uh. Ah! 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 You're kidding! Oh, fucking hell. Whew! Oh, hey, let's watch this guy. Caesar Ryle. Oh, <laughs> I'm laughing at him, but it's karma because that's been happening to me. So, God forbid, I'm probably going to fall on that exact same thing. Uh, oh, my freaking Christ. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm awful at this. <laughs> That is just, oh my god, that's karma if there ever was it. If karma exists, then, yeah, that's karma. Textbook. Oh, this is sickening. Sickening! hate this. <laughs> oh, I hate this. I hate it. Oh. Alright, guys. Here we go. Come on. Let's do this. Ah. Oh, fuck. Holy crap. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yes. Oh, my God. Alright. Oh, my God. Spiral staircases, man. No! Whew. Whew. Ah! 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 Oh! Oh my god, I hate this! Wait. Come on, pull it together. Fuck. Oh, oh god. Okay, okay, okay. Come on, we've got this. Ah! Oh my freaking Christ. Okay, here we go. Ha! Oh Lord. Please Lord. Please Lord. Please Lord. Please Almighty God. Oh, I'm sweating. Ha! Ha! 
Ha! Yeah! Yeah! Oh, guys, we're... I think we're... Oh, no way. Wait, what? Reach the top of the... Wait. But... Oh, my. Hold on. This is it. I reached the top. The power. app. Oh, hold on. Congratulations for completing the event quest. Okay, so I completed it. Um... In nine minutes, it says here. I've reached it, guys. But apparently, it's not letting me. So, as in, like, it's not actually ticking it off officially. But this is the top. Maybe I needed to, like, check in somewhere else first. Like, over there or something. But... Ah, that's what I needed to do. I needed to go there first. And hit that checkpoint first. And then go to the top. So... Technically, guys, I did it, but... Ah, let's put ourselves through this... Anx oh my god, this anxiety again. Do these carpets actually... Fuck off. Oh. Yes! Whew. Ah, alright. Bingo, that's a second checkpoint. Alright, I'm gonna try and... Do these stairs... Without cursing. Ah. Uh, oh. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Okay. Good goodness. Oh. This guy's making it look... Oh my word. Oh my word. This guy's making it look so easy. Oh, but he fell. Yeah, yeah. You're not... Pu I wish I could push him off. Did it, guys. Let's go. Let's go, folks. We made it official. If you enjoyed watching today, smash the like button, subscribe for authentic blockchain gaming content, turn the notification bells on, and we'll catch all of you in the next one. Cheers.